Hello and welcome to Chemistry at King's Monkton School. Uh, my name is Mr. Peter Clements and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the A-level course from WJC. If you are thinking about doing any kind of medicine or dentistry or veterinary or uh, anything like that, then chemistry is very, very important uh, A-level to take. Even if you're not thinking about doing those courses, chemistry is a very, very useful and versatile A-level. Uh, this is because it involves a range of skills. Um, it's got numeracy, it's got uh, a lot of content to revise and recall and apply. Um, it's got drawing and graphing skills, analysis, problem solving. Uh, so if you get a good grade in a chemistry A-level, then you will be recognised as having you know, a strong ability in a lot of these varied skills. Uh, it is a challenging course, um, but with the right dedication, the right support, there is no reason that you can't do well. So I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what the course involves. So first of all, we'll talk to you a little bit about the course structure. So this is from the WJC. So at the top there in the bullet points, you can see the course codes uh, for the, the AS at the top and then the A level on the second bit. Um, the whole course is, um, is composed of five units, so we've got two in AS and three in A2. And these five units cover um, physical, inorganic, onorganic chemistry, and there's also one practical unit. Uh, so the physical, inorganic, and organic are kind of mixed together in those two units in AS, and in the two units in A2, then there's a separate practical unit in A2 as well. 20% of the marks require mathematical skills and competency, so it's really important that you've got uh, strong uh, numeracy and mathematical ability. Um, that includes things like rearranging equations, um, using algebra to work out unknowns, um, and graphing skills, uh, all sorts of things like that. The practical components, I'll talk a little bit more uh, in a little while. So there are specific required practicals at set points throughout the year. In addition, we'll do practical activities that help develop understanding of the content. And that is worth 10% of the unit five. And you, what happens, you have to maintain a lab book, um, which shows your practical you know, ap application and practical ability all the way through the course. So this is a little bit more of a breakdown showing you the difference in the AS and the A2. So two units in AS, um, if you do the whole year, uh, two year course, then the AS units are worth 20% each. You can finish um, the course after AS and get an AS grade from it. So you can do year 12, get an AS grade and you can leave it there if you like, or you can continue through to the A2 course. The A2 course builds strongly off the AS, um, so it does represent a significantly higher challenge. The, the A2 content is worth more of the overall, um, the overall qualification if you do take it through to A2. So we've got 25% each of the, uh, the, the sort of formal examination units and then 10% for the practical unit. So this is an example of a check sheet that I would give out at the beginning of every topic. These check sheets are drawn straight from the specification and they explain what content you need to know and in how much detail you need to know it. And this is really important because, uh, first of all, it helps you revise. You can tick this off as you go through when you're revising. But also when you are doing extra reading, this is making sure that you uh, know what depth you need to know the content to, because you can go into a lot of depth with certain topics at A-level chemistry. In terms of extra reading, it is expected that you'll be doing at least uh, five hours of extra reading outside of your classroom time and that does not include homework so you should be reading around the topics you should be making notes you should be reading ahead um, you should be practicing your skills uh, so chemistry a level does involve a significant um, dedication and a significant amount of work if you need to recap what you've covered at gcse i do recommend that because the a level course built heavily upon the content at GCSE. You can see on this check sheet that we've got things like relative masses, atomic masses, isotopes, all of those things should be familiar to you from your key stage four studies. It is possible to do the course 
having done double science. However, you, there will be gaps in your knowledge and you will have to catch up on those. Here you can see some examples of some practicals that we will cover at A-level chemistry. So on the left, we've got an example of an organic reaction where we are uh, distilling an organic product to isolate it. At the top right, we've got an example of inorganic reactions where we're looking at the precipitates of lead compounds. And on the bottom, we've got an example of a physical practical, physical chemistry, where we're looking at the empirical formula of copper oxide and trying to work out the formula of that compound. This shows a list of the specified practical work set by WJEC. So this is what we have to cover, um, but we will be covering uh, extra stuff on top of this to support your learning. So things like titrations, things like rate reactions, like order of reaction, organic reactions, like nucleophilic substitution reactions. Uh, these are the things that would form the backbone of your practical lab book. And then we'd add on to this uh, with additional practicals. You would need to show that you could clearly explain the method um, and analyze results and form conclusions. And you would be doing this um, to show evidence of your practical work. We have had WJC come in and assess our practical lab books before, and they've been really happy with what we've been doing. So we've got a really strong history of our practical work at Kings Moncton. If you are looking for textbooks to support your learning, then WJC have published a couple of textbooks. We've got the course book for AS level here, and then we also have the course book for the A2 level. Uh, so you might want to order those two books to support your learning and, and to have an addition to your notes. There's also another textbook not published by WJC, but published by a man called Jim Clark, which I really recommend. This can support your calculations. Even if you're feeling quite strong about calculations, this is particularly in the context of chemistry. Uh, and this is a really, really good textbook. Jim Clark has also produced a website called chemguide.co.uk, which I really, really recommend as uh, a support and a resource for when you are revising and making notes and, and doing additional reading. So just to summarize, the chemistry course is split into five units. The first two units in year 12 uh, comprise the AS part of the course, and they include inorganic, organic and physical chemistry. Um, they were 20% each if you continue on to year 13. If you decide to stop at AS, then obviously they were 50% each. The A2 part of the course, which is completed in year 13, is Unit 3, Physical and Inorganic Chemistry, Unit 4, Organic Chemistry and Analysis, and Unit 5, which is the Practical Unit. Uh, so hopefully that has given you uh, a short insight into what the A-level chemistry involves. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.